Hello everyone, it's Nick the Man back here with another uh, set of games from the uh, Sensational Tournament being hosted by Greyhound. This time around I am playing against the Grape Jelly Man uh, over on... Well, I guess I'm deafened at the moment, but a few people are huddled around spectating on boot camp at the moment. Uh, and I'm playing Soviets, he's playing Blue Dragons, and we are playing on the first map pick, my map pick, Punch Bowl. Uh, we have gotten the better side for the mid-push. Um, the other... What else What is, else is there significant to go over? Oh, I dropped uh, Factoria for Conker's M, as they're just not going to get anything done against uh, uh, K1s. Uh, so I decided to invest in something with a little bit more punching power. Uh, swapped the Smirch out for the Urigan, and went for the slightly more durable heavy, durable super heavy. Um, yeah, that is... That's about it. Oh, I also swapped the other card of grew into wield transports uh, for this wield opener, actually. So, I think what we're going to do... So I think I still just want a KA-52 for the opening, just to kind of keep tabs on things. KA-52 actually will still have a slight advantage in the... Uh, fight against the ninja if it comes into a trading situation due to the extra range and the fact that uh, on a crit the iglobees can potentially one-shot the ninja so it's it's still fine here um, and there's some radar a that he'll potentially be using the spags and the uh, the hawks potentially so i think it'll be a worthwhile investment um, i am going to try to drop a squad of gornos 90 off back over in his two-pointer um, i want to put an atgm team in this town and uh, I don't know if we want to invest that heavily. We'll just do the ATGM, two infantry squads. I just got to get, get us a sense of what's going on over there. Um, as far as mid is concerned... Put a pair of rifles. Maybe we should just go with one. A squad of rifles and ATGM here, um, and then we're probably going to put like two squads of Spets crew in the main town, and I'm somewhat tempted to go as far as three. Maybe I should have grabbed wheeled transports for the ATGMs. Actually, that might have been intelligent. I'm going to take one more Gorner's 90 squad and drop it off back here. Hopefully, far enough away that it's not going to get intercepted by. Uh, tan Sam, but close enough that I can move it up through these buildings and scare back any tank-based fire support. Uh, I'm going to take some Sapery in there. I'm going to get ourselves a Tor, an Osa. Maybe skip the Mortar. And get like a T-72B. So I'm going to leave us a bit light on tanks. That's a lot. Uh, want a squad of EDB out there on the right. I think we're going to cut this down to one. Go with a T-72B. I'm going to cut this and take an ATGM into the town as well. And we're going to be light over here on the right, but at least with this squad going off over here and the KA-52 hopefully intercepting the ninja if there is one, we should be able to have you know, a good idea of what, what's going on over here and hopefully still stall it, even though we're not sending directly into anything into our two-pointer. Uh, we'll see how this goes. He's got an infantry CV in the town because we can see his sector is uncapped. Okay. 
So where's the ninja? There's the ninja. Looks like he does want to take this duel. I think that's a mistake from him. This is... No, oh, he's actually... We're going to get an SC-25 and prevent this from landing properly. That's my hope. Didn't pick up a kill there. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, that's not good. That is the seed ASF, so I gotta turn this off. This really just did not do what I would have liked for it to do. I we lost all that, goodness me. It's expensive. I really should not have attempted that. I think I just needed like heavier tanks here. Maybe I should have invested in a super heavy of my own. Oh, and of course we're... Fuck. <laughs> I didn't see it, because of course I don't have the K-52 out, and no more infantry in the town. Oh, I'm not doing too great. <clears throat> Admittedly. I'm just going to land you, actually. So we can't really safely get you out of there. Here. Try this one more time. Firing computer reset is nice.
pip. Okay. Let's get like a BMPT and some fodder back over here and try to push this back out. Let's actually bring this over here and try to see if we can help clear this out a little bit. Yeah, this is problem now. He has a good reinforcement run into my two pointer. So I really do need to invest in like a super heavy or something to start pushing this out. Interesting choice. How did you lose line of sight? We're investing in a super next. That's what we're saving now for. Glad at least these guys are being disruptive. Let's 
concerning that you're spotted. Can just get a fadeaway shot off right now? <gasps> Ooh, I can punish him here. If I get lucky. Nice. That's a big pickup. Still visible from up there? Jesus. Please get under cover. Looks like, very fortunately, we're going to be pushing him out of here and hopefully connecting. Hopefully we'll be able to push him back relatively soon as well. Did I lose? Oh my god, I just lost my own super heavy. That's so bad. <laughs> I don't even know what to to what we lost it. What's so? It's actually terrible. It's like Blitzwar says, stick to my crewing helicopters, Nick. <clears throat> we'll just get two mediums, then we'll try pushing into this side with that, I guess. Concerning we lost all that. Let's get some sappery in there, I guess. Stuff's just taking weird routes back. Like why would why would the supply truck take that route back instead of that back road? So strange to me. Can you shoot? Please? Why? Okay.
Doesn't look like he has recon over here. Ooh, I lost line of sight there as well. Oh, come on, Gornos. It's just so embarrassing. It's more of these. <clears throat> Cheeky. Yes, we can do something similar. Jesus, I can't hit anything today. Good lord. This is a good spot for it, so I can cut off his reinforcements. I'm quite happy with that. Let's get some more spets screw in here. Okay, and I think we just CV this momentarily. And he can neutralize over here, but it's going to cost him a lot to do so. I'm just going to put a squad of EDV back over here, because like the one thing that I am worried about now is potentially like a shove down the one-pointers into my spawn, as that could be game-ending still. Okay. 
Chinana Shiki CV on the run, okay. Cool. Now we can leave our radar IA on. Ooh, okay, pull that back, pull that back, move you forward, move you forward. Pretty sure he put it there. Altitude, good. Yeah, I think he's aware that his only way back into this game is shoving down through here, so we're just going to set up to deal with that as best we can. like that killed the ninja and there's just no it did not okay we'll put some vdv90 over there so we have scratch outs actually we should have just landed you and you'd be fine <laughs>
Yeah, but even if he has a plus four from here, he can't he can't win off of that. He like he literally has to push my spawn and like kill me. Let's just shoot those in there, and then we'll get you rearmed. Let's get a scout. Let's get a tank. Let's get a BMPT some infantry. We're going to push up through this forest, claim this, and then we're going to assault that town. But like, he's not pushing into this. We've got Gornos all over that place. We'll set up these guys so they can also shoot across out into this opening. Actually, move you up. Is my K-52 still alive? I suppose it isn't. We'll buy another, just to keep eyes on things. Lost the BMP. Or, sorry, the BTR-90 there. Ah. Such awkward angles to be playing from, goodness. Didn't realize I had such a large gap in my vision over here. And you probably should not have done that. Given that, I'm pretty sure that moved a little while back. Just gonna fold them over here, I think, is the plan.
He's got an idea of how much I have coming there. Okay. Uh, well, that's the end of game one, uh, and we're moving on to game two, which is uh, Nuclear Winter. And I won't be able to play Soviets, so I'm probably going to be playing Blue Dragons, because they're going to have a better Heliborn opener than Blue Mech, which is the other deck I have unbanned. Uh, so we'll get into that shortly, but uh, I'm going to cut this here. So, uh, till next time.